One, one thing you, you uh, learn as you sort of survey organizations and you kind of feel it just in the air is that the way people feel about their company is more often informed by the way they feel about their direct supervisor than how they feel about the CEO or the paint job on the airplanes or their uniform or whatever. If their supervisor is valuing them and treating them with respect and they respect that person in turn, that just, you know, that, that's, you know, that's 90% of the, the equation right there. And so, you know, you got to make sure that as you build your organization, you're, you're, you're getting the right people in those first and second level management jobs. When you look at fa many failures in business, you can kind of trace them back to hubris and complacency and pride. And I think with all businesses, certainly in the airline business, you know, if, you haven't, if you're not humble, you hadn't been there long enough, I think you really do need to approach it, approach business with a healthy dose of humility. That doesn't mean, I'm not saying don't go out there and you know, work hard, achieve, strive, you know, try to clobber your competitors, but I'm saying do it in the right way. Buffett has a great line about this, which I've, I've always remembered. He says, I look for three things, energy, intelligence, and integrity. And most of all, integrity, because if they don't have that, they'll kill you with their energy and intelligence, right? And you see it in business all the time. If, if people don't have kind of a, kind of a, 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 a moral fiber, a moral compass that they bring to the job, it's easy to go wheels off. And, you know, the more intelligent you are and the more energy you have, the more wheels off you can go, as we've seen with, you know, WorldCom, Enron, you, you name your headline example. So I think that's, you know, it's really important. And you're right, it's not easy to ascertain. Um, you know, you need to look at a lot of things about a person, and, and there's sort of a look and feel what you're looking for. I would say humility is a key element of that, though. You know, if, if, if you sense a person is um, uh, if, if there's a lot of self-promotion in the way they conduct themselves, I think that's a red flag. If there's a, the opposite of that, if you see somebody who is a team player always focused on, hey, how do we make, how do we make the company better? How do, we, how do we get stronger, better? faster? How do we innovate? You know, if they're thinking about the things that are relevant to the shareholders, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a good sign. And uh, if they're doing that in a way that is um, uh, humble and um, treating their fellow employees with respect, yeah, you, you, you probably got a winner there.